Hey everybody, um, I am here to just provide you a brief overview of your mini autobiography assignment just to uh, provide a little bit more clarification and so you can hear me explaining it to you um, instead of just reading the directions on the screen. So this is kind of a cool assignment to kick off our semester. Um, this is a personal assignment in that you have the opportunity to reflect on your own life and your life experiences thus far. Um, and I want you in the short essay to think about um, every time that you have come in contact with government, whether that's federal, state, local, um, any time that you have talked about politics, interacted with politics, experienced anything political, and important to remember that doesn't just have to be something like an election or um, or any type of voting or talking specifically about politics like anytime you've experienced anything political in the world maybe um, you're watching a TV show or um, you've taken another political science class or maybe something in a history class or a sociology class or an ec uh, economics class or um, maybe uh, you work in a government job or you um, you can think of an experience where we what, where we reference what we call office politics um, or you I don't know you um, have been in a protest or you um, have just engaged in conversations about anything political, whether that um, is politics itself or, or something different, anything. I mean, this is very, very open-ended and it's designed to be that way. Um, there is no right or wrong answer to this, but I want you to essentially tell me the story of how you became who you are today in a political sense. So that's one part of the assignment. The other part and um, almost the more important part that I'm gonna be looking for is how do you define political science in your life? How do you see that term? Um, think about concepts that we were introduced to last week. Justice, freedom, um, power, authority. We're gonna talk more about power in the state this week. But think about how you would define those terms, not how the internet defines those terms, not how the media defines those terms, not how your textbook defines those terms, not even how I define those terms. How do you see those terms? How do you understand those concepts? And I want you to explain that to me in, your, in this short essay. Um, briefly, some requirements. Uh, this should be a minimum of two pages double spaced with one inch margins. Um, in size 11 or 12 times New Roman font. Please stick to those guidelines. They're created for a reason. Um, anything less than two pages will receive a point reduction, but I hope everybody writes more than two pages this, since this is so open-ended and we're all at different points in our lives. Our stories could be long and you're welcome to submit more than two pages. There's no penalty for that. Um, I figure if I had done this assignment, it would probably take me maybe three or four, could be up to five pages to tell my story. Um, please know you do not have to share everything. I want you to share what you're comfortable with, um, but please do answer the questions that I am asking you. Make sure you have your name, your date, um, or the date, excuse me, that you're <laughs> submitting this assignment. Please include page numbers. Um, and again, this assignment is open-ended. There's no right or wrong answer. I'm not here to critique your story. I'm not here to judge your definitions of these terms. I just want you to really perform a self-analysis and think about your life experiences and where you've come from, where you are now, and maybe even where you wanna be in the future um, in your viewpoints, um, perspectives on politics and government. If you have questions about how this assignment will be graded, there is a rubric attached to it. Um, but please, if you have any other concerns, feel free to send me a message in Canvas or email me. Or um, if you want to talk one on one, I'm happy to meet with you. But um, otherwise, enjoy this assignment. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions.